Well, you know, my name is Shabazz the Disciple. You know, my government is David. I come from Red Hood Projects, and I've seen a lot of things coming up. I'm blessed to be here right now. But it was one moment that came that changed my life forever. It was this one moment. And um I guess I was being humbled because of the, you know, the lifestyle that I was living. I was being humbled. Basically I was being spared. You know, I just didn't see it back then. This on this particular night, it happened to be Easter Sunday, 1988. And um you know, me and my me and my new projects posse, we used to always go to 40 dudes, watch movies and everything. We used to always ride on the trains, you know. But we did things on the train, you know what I'm saying? That's why I came back around. We used to rob the train and stuff. You know, you're a little kid. You know, you ain't you don't really know what your purpose is on this earth yet. And what you really here for. You don't figure that out yet, you know. When you're a teenager, you basically experiment and trying to find out who it is that makes up you. So this particular day, Easter Sunday, 1988, we went to the um to the movies. Me and seven of my friends, we went to the movies, 42nd Street, to go watch the movies. The, the movie Beetlejuice that came out. We get to the movie theater, we ain't even watching the movie. We just we just getting mad girls, right? Um Now the movie's over, long story short, let me get to the point, man. We get on the we get on the train and we go to Coney Island. That's where everybody goes on Easter, you know, Coney Island. We get to Coney Island, that's where we meet up with Poochie, Joe, you know what I'm saying? My my friends. Claude. So we in Coney Island for the whole day and everything. And then it was time to leave now, right? And you got to get back. All everybody got to go to Stillwell Ave and catch the F train. That's the last stop and the first stop on the, on the F train. So we get all, we all get, we met some girls, right? So we got the girls with us. So we go to the train station. We get on the train. We sit on the first train. My man Poochie standing up on the pole, right? 20 dudes came in. One of them bumped my friend Poochie. They started fighting. My friend Poochie, beep, beep, dropped them. It was 20 of them, and there was only eight of us, right? But I found out later that they, they had beef in school. They used to go to the same high school. That beef just ended up, you know what I'm saying, happening again on the train. So now that train we got on was out of service. So another train was coming in. And it was like, every, they made the announcement, everybody get off that train and get on this train. Now, I'm going to tell you the difference. I'm going to tell you what's, what's crazy. When, when, when the train is leaving, when the train is coming in, actually, the way we was going to go out, we was already in the front car. In Smith and Ninth Street, you have to be in the front car to get to our staircase. Now, this train put us in the back. So it was the opposite. So if we never switched trains, we would have never had to run into these dudes again. But I figured all of that out later. So now we get on the other train. We get right, we go straight across the platform, get on the train. The 20 dudes got off and walked like that way to the front of the train. So boom, we left it alone and everything. So we on our train car with the girls. We get ready to go to the, the best stop. We get ready to go hang out with them. And um... They had to switch over for the A train. I never forget that. They had to switch over for the A. We was like, yo, we're gonna ride past, go to J Street, switch over for the A, go to Best Style with them. So one of my mans had brought it up again. Like, yo, what's up with them niggas, man? Let's rob them. Cause that's what we was doing around those at that time of our life. <clears throat> So, you know, we like, all right, we got to start making our way to the front car anyway to get to um to our train stop. So we, we, we start getting to the carts, you know, and then I, I got in the car where they was at. 
Everybody didn't make it to that car running before the doors closed. So boom. I'm in the car with all of them, me and me and my other homie. We in the car with all of them. And my man's in them was in the next car waiting for the next stop so we could all link back up. Got to the next stop. Which was what, like Prospect Park Ave, Prospect, on the, on the, you know, on the train. And um, all of us was in the car with them now, right? So we walk into the front of the car to switch to the other car. But they was all in that area where we had to go. So we couldn't avoid them and we didn't want to anyway. So we walked past them and it started again. Everybody just started fighting, booping, booping, booping. Niggas spitting razors, it was all kinds of, right? Boom. But this is crazy because what happened was everybody's fighting, but I just looked and there was this dude sitting there and he wasn't fighting. Him and this other dude, they was the only way he was sitting there. He had this look on his face like this. He was just looking at all of us like this. I was watching him, he was like this. And he had his hand in the bag the whole time, like a big black garbage bag, like what's the hand, black garbage bag. He had his hand in the bag. He just looking. I said, damn, that nigga, he got it. He got that on him. I felt it. He, his aura told him he got that on him. So I'm like, damn. I stopped fighting because we was it was already really handled. They didn't want nothing with us. So what I did was I stood up. And I got my cousin in them and I, and we walked like right in front of him. Cause I wanted to keep my eye on him. Boom. Everybody's still, you know, a little bit fighting going on. Boom. Then, when one of my mans put his man that was sitting with him in the choker, that's when he got up. As soon as he pulled out, he tried to shoot me first because he seen that's the leader or something. That, that one with the heart. I don't know what he saw, but he was going to come at me first. He came at me. Wow. He missed. He hit my cousin through the forearm. My little cousin. I was like, yo, just get down. Get under the... Get under the seat, get down. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, get down. And um, my cousin got down. So what he did was he shot Joe. Bow, bow, twice. And they stabbed him. Boom. Because Joe was the biggest one. You know what I'm saying? He was mapping the whole thing out. I, I, I seen it in his eye. He was mapping. I'm going to hit him first. That's the one with the heart. He's going to fight to the death. That's the big grizzly bear. I don't want to get him. You know what I'm saying? He was mapping it out. I could, I, could, I, th I could think like him right now because I see how he did that. It's messed up. But anyway, the, um, Joe dropped. Hit the floor. And, um, yo. He shot Poochie in the chest. Pow! Poochie had asthma, you know, so he was, couldn't breathe. He dropped. When Poochie dropped, he um he put the gun like you know like like this is his temple. You know what I'm saying? Like this is his temple right here. This is his temple right here. He put the gun right there. Wow! It went through. Through his whole temple. Right? And I'm I'm like. All I saw was a puddle of blood around Poochie head. Just going like this. Puddle of blood. Just getting bigger and bigger, faster and faster. I was like, yo, chill with that shit, man. Chill with that shit. And I'm standing up. Everybody's on the ground. I'm the last one standing. Everybody's on the ground or under the chair, scared or, you know, like the doors were locked to run to the other car and switch cars and get out of there. It was, and it was a wrap. I'm standing there just like this. Like, couldn't believe it. Never seen nothing like that. Then him and his man, he took the coat off of Poochie, ripped it off, a long leather. Came over there to me. I was the only one standing up. He came with his man, the one that my man threw up like that. He came with his man. His man snuffed me. Boom! He punched me in my face. I wasn't focused. 
I, this nigga put the gun right to my temple, son. I looked at that shit. It was over, son. It was nothing I could do. I was done. Yo, he pulled the trigger. Yo. Yo, he pulled the trigger. It said click, click. Yo. I peed on myself immediately. I, I was a rat. I was done. I was ready to die right there. And, um. When he pulled the trigger and there wasn't no bullets left. What it felt like at that moment was that my spirit left my body. Like he really killed me. Because I had an out of body experience where all of a sudden my, I, I felt myself leaving my, my body, looking down, at hovering over the whole scene. And I was looking down at everybody and everything. When, it, when, the, doors, when the doors open, and the doors open, he kicked all of us off. Get the fuck off the train. Joe jumped up, got off. Everybody got off. He gun, he had us at gunpoint. Get him to get us off the train. It was just Poochie and them on the train. I grabbed my little cousin and ran straight across the tracks and jumped in the tracks. Almost got hit by it, but it, lucky it was an express train on the other track. <laughs> Jumped on the train, I mean the tracks, and I ran through the tunnel with my cousin. And, I, and, and the crazy part is that I ran back to, through the tunnel that all of that shit just came this way happened. So I had to go all the way that way, get on the train, and come back past the shit that I just went through. Got my cousin to Smith and Ice Street. When I got to Smith and Ice Street, i never forget, we came down the train steps. We got to the escalator. I saw like 80 cops run up the escalator. They was running. Talking about Delancey Street, Delancey Street. A body, some shit on the train. <sighs> Yo. I got to, I got to, um, Red Hook, I went to the store. When I got around, when I got to the Ave where all of my uncles is at, everybody was gathered up. Everybody had guns on them. Everybody was going to go kill them niggas who did that because they found out where they was from and then the news it was all on the news already it was on every it was the top story on every news channel it was on front of every newspaper the next day we could pull the records it's there they they yo they said on the news that I was the one that got shot and killed they thought it was me. So my whole family thought I died. My uncles was ready to kill. My, my moms and them was crying. Every, it was like if you would get that phone call. When I get to my uncles and them, they like, oh shit. They was bugging. They couldn't believe Fuck school, hanging with the boys on the fly. 
Liverpool. Cool. Half of the bodies embedded with them bully wounds. Lungs missing with flesh ripping in hell and fuel. Most of my friends are hype, I guess I like that type. Men's rated mindset with a blazing light. The government wants you locked up behind bars. Slave labor is back, America we starve. We dumb fucks, slaying dope and lump pumps. You kill your brothers, karma's gonna come and cut ya. When you get locked, you learn from the first shot. Or face second strike, third wanna be a life. Is it a cold game? It's an old game. Selling cocaine, you're gonna lose your brain. Fast pass, quick ass, you always play too fast. Life in a fast lane, moving like a freight train. Going off the rails, drop the slide like snails. We need to all unite, go to school in light. And on his tongue is pressed to get you out the trenches. Avoid the wenches, stay away from Satan's clenches. Remain righteous, right your growing gain of tightness. Keep your friends close, enemies closer. Big posters, get thrown up in a toaster. Maintain low pro like a fucking street duster. Save your gas like a Jew with a million stash. That's how the Zodiac killer gets up in that ass. I pray for our fathers, doing life in prison. Or hit with hollow shells, and now they souls risen. Until the kingdom come, I'ma clean this gun. Hold me a place in heaven. Forever I mind Heavenly Father, forgive me for my transgressions Handed my blessings for them grams and them hand weapons The little recession had all this chasing worldly possessions I'm in this vocal booth now, sending up my confessions The crack era turned my hood to a horror film The smack era sent my father to the spirit realm Some in the beam of wings, behind that metal fence Playing diamond needles, fists and legs like elephants My old dad used to bundle head tears of diesel Hooked on the stairs, start shooting up and sharing needles His brother pissed his own vein with the same needle they got their wings and no cute cars like Don Cheeto. We bagged the first brick in the peas to distribute it. To the whole demise of the hood, we all contributed. Plague of addiction, housing, tennis, facing eviction. So much affliction, prison visits, murder convictions. We went to war for our women and our daily bread. My adversaries gun jam right at my fucking head. Angels protect me. When deals went sloppy, Lama Sabak Dani felt like the Lord forgot me. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, breastplate cover my chest. My black evil and 40 cow comfort. Bagging up at the table in the presence of my enemies. Cup running forward with Hennessy, blowing Chiba with Bathsheba. Judas trying to deliver me, making them lie down in green pastures. Having their mom say the 23rd Psalm over their caskets. Killer Priest. Too short in the house. Yo, what's up? This is Cool Keith. Big Twin. Long D. Yo, Snowman. Yeah. Big Jagger from the Sick Ass Cycle Realm. You should bad the disciple, man. It's a sick fuck right here, man. Don't no, react sick fuck felony fights. And we inviting you to come out. Check me out. Witness us live. It ain't beige versus blinds. Yeah. Can you dig it? It ain't gauge versus bombs. I'm in the 
building, you already know what I'm bringing to the stage. It's Cage versus Khan. Cage versus Khan. Cage versus Khan. Cage versus Khan. Cage versus Khan, tell me. Cage versus Khan. Listen, man, May the 21st, man. 2011, baby. May 21st, man, you understand? At the LA Sports Arena. Y'all make sure y'all be there. Be there. Be there! Sports be there! Or I'll come looking for you. Ah! <laughs> you know what? Tiny with me. <laughs>